Hey folks, so this is day one of my recovery. I had the kidney procedure on my right ankle. And uh, I guess, let me see what it, so mm -hmm. that's what it looks like. I'm in a splint right now. Um, pain is about, uh, even with the pain pills, pain is right about, about a seven, about a seven right now. Um, I guess I keep track of how I'm doing. Uh, I suggest anybody, if you do end up having the procedure, get yourself one of these. And if you can't, get yourself a knee scooter. Get yourself a knee scooter. It'll help out a lot. Uh, crutches is cool for short distances, but like I live in a house with um, the hallways are kind of, they're kind of slender. So the thing is, I end up just hitting pictures on the wall and stuff like that, just real clutch like. So that helped out a lot. I'm having that knee scooter. Uh, I guess you say this all turned out from me last, let's see, last spring or whatever. I was trying to get into uh, some better shape. So I, I was doing more running, cycling. Uh, just doing a lot more things. And so I had gotten diagnosed the year before plantar fasciitis. So, you know, when the pain started to occur, I'm like, okay, well, you know, you're overweight. Um, you're, you're out of shape. And you got plantar fasciitis. Keep keep going. Push through the pain. Usually it goes away after about a, uh, about a day and a half and you, you're back to normal. But... This never, never went away. So, I mean, it, I guess the pain really, really, really got bad around, I guess you would say June, July, June, July, August, so much so where I had to actually take off work because the pain, whereas I couldn't walk. So I had took that. And I said, you know what? I can't take this anymore. I'm going to go to my primary care physician. Went to my doctor, told him what was going on. They said, okay, let's get an x-ray. X-ray came back negative. Let's have an MRI. Okay, cool. Had an MRI. They said, oh, MRI doesn't see anything. It's just inflammation. Okay, cool. About maybe two and a half, three more months go past. I'm just trusting what my doctor said, but this thing really isn't getting much better. So I take it upon myself to go see a podiatrist. The podiatrist takes some x-rays, whatever. She doesn't see anything. So she gives me some orthotics to wear. The orthotics helped out just a tad bit, but for real, I'm still really having the pain. So after seeing her for about maybe a month and a half, too much, she suggests, she said, you know what? I think you need to see a surgeon. So I went and saw the surgeon, gave him my MRI disc or whatever for, for him to see. And he came back in the room. He said, first thing, this is the wrong MRI. I don't know why they gave you this MRI in the first place. This is an MRI of your foot. This is not an MRI of your ankle. I said, what, really? He said, yeah. So we got to give you another MRI. Went and got the uh, MRI done. Came back to my appointment in about two weeks. He said, look, this is what you have. You have an accessory uh, navicular bone that's broken. And you also have a partially turned posterior tibial tendon. So much to my surprise, of how one thankful I was that now I can finally put something, uh, I guess you could say something on paper that this pain is not imaginary and that my doctor just saying it's inflammation. It was a bunch of crap. And then two, much to my surprise, like my primary care physician is some trash. So I tell anybody out there, 
if you are experiencing extreme pain under your uh, under your ankle and it seems like it's running running through your foot up your calf and stuff like that if somebody says it's nothing tell somebody else tell another doctor and see what they suggest make sure uh, they're saying the exact same thing and if you if so be it see a specialist on it primary care physician is great for just general things but sometimes you just need a little bit better detail. Some Somebody who's precise. This is all that they do. They don't deal with runny noses and coughs. You know, somebody who does this all the time. So I suggest, really, if you're having these type of pain, pains, uh, get a second opinion. And sometimes maybe even get a third opinion, just to be sure. But uh, it's a long road to recovery. They said um, your, your, your tendon... It's supposed to be the size of a pinky. Uh, my doctor said when he went in that it was the size of a thumb. That's how much damage had been done to it. And I just think, how long have I allowed damage to be done to this because somebody gave me some faulty information? So like I said, if you're having these pains, don't shrug it off. Get it done. Get it looked at. Uh, and if you're having, uh, if they finally find out what it is, don't hold off on it. I'm um, thankfully I was gonna hold off and have this done at the end of August because I didn't want to quote unquote ruin my kids' summer or my wife's summer. You know, having to wait on me. Uh, no, no, no. Thankful I've got it done. Thankful to God I got it done when I did, because who knows what could have happened. So if you have the the Kidner procedure. Um, Make sure you do your research on your doctor. Make sure they're a good doctor. Thankfully, um, Dr. Lynn, he gave me, uh, he had really good reviews and uh, he, he he's a, a really good doctor. And then uh, also, um, for real, just make sure you stay away from sugary things, anything that might slow down your progress. So now I'm upticking on things I take to promote bone healing and take your multivitamins and all that other stuff i try to keep y'all up to date the best that i can and uh hopefully this will help anybody thinking about getting it and so like i said pain right now first day out uh it's about a seven but they say once you start feeling the pain do not do not call yourself john wayne in it or or i'm, I'm a man and tough it out no because as soon as you start feeling it, pop the pill because it takes time for that uh, medicine to start rolling through your system. So the thing is you want to get it in your system early. That way, so when the pain starts to intensify, the pain medicine is already kind of making its way there. And hopefully will start to settle you down. Then you'll be in intense pain. And then all of a sudden you're trying to pop a pill or shoot, you even go go crazy and try to snort it or something like that. Try to get in your bloodstream real quick. Don't do that. That's stupid. Don't do that. So, yeah. So, just make sure you stay up with your doctor visits. If you're feeling pain, don't let anybody tell you that it's nothing. Seek a second opinion. And then make sure you follow the doctor's orders. Alright, guys. I'll keep you tracked up to date. Hopefully, uh, they, my doctor said my recovery period might be a little longer now because of the damage I did. But I'm hoping and praying that that it could be uh, still on schedule. All right, fellas. All right, ladies. Talk to you another time.